St John's class. So in maths this week, like we said yesterday, we are going to be looking at patterns. Okay. Now you yesterday went, we were pattern detectives, weren't you? And you went on a pattern hunt around your house and you showed me some fantastic patterns. Let's have a look at some patterns that I have found. So have a look at the patterns on these curtains and on the cushion as well can you see there's a tree and the same picture of the tree is all over the curtains it's repeated all over the curtains to make a lovely tree pattern let's have a look at the next one oh we've got a stripy sock here let's look at this pattern it goes green red green red green red it's green and red all over in these stripes. Can you say stripes? Do you have any stripy socks at home? Let's have a look at the next pattern. Now, some patterns have certain names, okay? And the name of this pattern is called a tartan. My turn, your turn. Can you say tartan? Excellent. And can you see there's all these different coloured lines and they make squares and rectangles and this will be printed all over the piece of material or fabric and it's called tartan. Well done. So we're going to have a look at some repeating patterns today. Now repeating means something that happens over and over and over again. So let's have a look at this pattern here. Let's talk about it and describe it. We have got a green circle, a purple square a green circle and a purple square a green circle and a purple square and a green circle can you see that it repeats itself our two shapes and colors we've used are a green circle and a purple square and we keep them in that order it's always a green circle first and then a purple square. Got a green circle and after the green circle is a purple square. Let's have a look at the next pattern. Here, talk it through with me and it's really important that we give as much information as we can when we describe these patterns. So don't just tell me it's a triangle and then a rectangle. Tell me the colours of them because Later on in the week, we're going to be looking at some patterns that are even trickier. So it's really going to help us now if we can give and get into the habit of giving as much information and description as possible. So let's look at this pattern. We've got a, well done, a red triangle and then a blue rectangle. Well done. A red triangle and a blue rectangle well done a red triangle oh i wonder if we can work together now to finish off our pattern can you see we've got lots of room left on our page let's see if we can finish it off so the key with it with repeating patterns is to always go right back to the start and have a look so we've got our um our red triangle here what is next to the red triangle? That's right, a blue rectangle. So if we go back to the end of our pattern, we've got our red triangle. So next to it, we looked at the front and we said next to a red triangle needs to be a blue rectangle. So I'm going to put another blue rectangle. What comes next then? We've got our blue rectangle. Let's go back to the start of our pattern. We've got red triangle, blue rectangle, red triangle. Well done, it's a red triangle that is next. And what comes next? Well done, a blue rectangle. Great work, St John's class, well done. Should we have a look at another one? So let's talk through this pattern then. Remember, give me as much information as possible. Super. So we have got a 
we could use a yellow star or let's think we use our treasure houses to think of a more exciting word we could use it looks golden to me it's not like a bright sunny yellow it looks a little bit golden should we have a golden star and an orange square a golden star what would come next in our pattern remember go back to the beginning we've got a golden star what's after the golden star yeah well done a orange square so that is what we are going to put next in our pattern what would come next we've got golden star orange square what comes after the orange square a golden star so what needs to come after this orange square a golden star well done right i want you to shout out at me now because we're getting really good at this what would come after our golden star an orange square well done and what comes after an orange square a golden star oh not that one <laughs> A golden star. Well done, St. John's class. I think I have one more. Okay. Oh, now there aren't a lot of shapes in this pattern, so we've got to complete it. We have got to finish it. Okay. So let's describe this shape. Oh, it is a triangle and it is blue, but I think there's a more interesting word to, we could use to describe this shade of blue. Yeah, that's right. It's turquoise can you say turquoise fantastic turquoise so we've got a turquoise triangle what's this shape it's not quite a circle is it it's like a circle that's been stretched out a little bit and we call that an oval oval well done so we have got a turquoise triangle and a pink oval. So what do you think will come next in our pattern? Would it be another pink oval? Do you think it might be based on the learning we've done today? A turquoise triangle? Yeah, I think so too. A turquoise triangle. What would come next then? What comes after the turquoise triangle? That's right, it's the pink oval, isn't it? Well done. So let's go through our pattern, let's talk about it. We've got a turquoise triangle, a pink oval, a turquoise triangle, a pink oval. What will come next? Go back to the beginning of our pattern. We've got turquoise triangle, pink oval after the pink oval is a turquoise triangle well done so we need to add in another turquoise triangle what comes after the turquoise triangle the pink oval well done and we can keep going all the way to the end of our page okay well done. Fantastic work, St John's class. Now, your task today is to make your own repeating pattern using two shapes, okay? Or it can be two objects, okay? You can choose how you do this. You might want to draw it and then colour it in with colouring pencils. You might want to paint it. You might want to get some stamps and do it with stamps and shapes. Whatever you've got at home, you might want to go out and use sticks from the garden and leaves from the garden. Two things or two shapes. And I would like you to make a repeating pattern, just like we've looked at today. I can't wait to see them on Dojo. Bye.